I-9 Hackintosh. Is it still worth it? All right, guys, I've been putting this video off for quite a while. I've been really busy and everything with everything going on in my life. But uh, I just wanted to give a quick update to my previous video I done a while back on the Hackintosh i9. You can go back into my videos and see the complete build of it and everything that's in it. But I just wanted to do an update and let you know how life is still going. You know, I roughly nine months later of having this version of the i9 Hackintosh. I originally had an i7-6700K, and I'm featuring a video on it where I've rebuilt it with a new case and everything. But uh, let's get back to the i9. Everything is still working great. Everything still works. Handoff, continuity, airdrop, it works. And if you need any questions or have any questions about what I use to make all that work, leave it in a comment below. I'll post the links to everything I bought. I even have my EFI file folder. If anyone needs help on getting up and going, I have all of that. I'm here to help. But uh, I have also wanted to let you know that I have saved on 10.14.2. I have found that it is the fastest for rendering files in Final Cut Pro 10, which is what I mainly built this for. Uh, I don't game with it, none of that. You know, it's just mainly a workstation for Final Cut Pro and a few odd and other things. But uh, just to show you, uh, you know, some differences and stuff, Geek, Geekbench 5 just came out, and it's the new way of, you know, telling how big and bad your computer is. You know, on Geekbench 4, mine averaged about a 41,000 on the CPU test, so this one's a little bit different. But to give you an example of the, uh, the power of this uh, Hackintosh here, uh, uh, everyone knows an iPad Pro 3, uh, is the newest of it. So on it, the mo uh, multi-score was 4,697 versus a single core of 1,111. Now I have a 2018 MacBook Pro i9 with the Vega 20 in it. On its Geekbench score for the uh, multi-core, it was 5,559. So not really much more than the iPad Pro. Single core was 1,103 which it actually got beat by the iPad Pro. Now then, for the Hackintosh i9 here, on multi-core, it got a 9,535 versus a 1,303 on single core. So, you know, there's quite a bit of a difference there. Uh, real quick though, on my i7-6700K, its single core was 1,230 versus 5,051 on multi-core. So this thing can crunch pretty good and everything, you know. I have not had no overheating issues once I've got everything worked out. The dual Vegas are still working great. I never went with a Vega 7 because I was just really unhappy with every report that I seen on performance wise of that. So I stuck with the dual Vega 64s. And I'm kind of glad I did now that I hear Radian is not supporting the Vega 7 no more or is fixing to not. So, so right now I'm sticking with the dual Vegas, which I still love. They work great in Final Cut Pro. Both of them work. That's another question I get. A lot of people want to tell me that dual Vegas in a, a Hackintosh will not work. No, they will not work in normal operating, but when you're running something like Final Cut Pro or anything that takes advantage of dual uh, video cards, it works great. Uh, again, you know, everything is still working. It flies. It really really helps me out on running Final Cut Pro. A lot of the videos you don't see because I don't publish them, nor can I. Uh, you know, just everyday usage, it boots every time. I have no issues on it booting. The only thing that I've added to it since I built it is a few extra hard drives due to running out of space. Uh, I've added some extra fans to cool it down more. But uh, USB also, it works perfectly. Every one of my USB drives works as they should. No slowdowns. USB 3 functions as USB 3. As a matter of fact, all the ports on the motherboard work and work to the speed. And if you need help with that, again, I have the EFI folder for all of that. Help you right up, get you up and going. Uh, if, and again, if you have any questions, please post them below. I'm very quick to answer. If there's anything you would like to see, on this thing and have it run, please let me know. I can get it up and going for you and post it up there. 
but again guys as always I appreciate you watching my videos and again I cannot highly recommend enough for building a Hackintosh thanks have a great one